Seriously? Tony, I'm sure you understand Jeff's turmoil about Heather. You see, Mrs. Grant, Heather's mother, is strongly opposed to Jeff putting Heather in that state oh. mental hospital. This is her little girl we're talking about. And from what I can put together, she knows Jeff's got his eye on another woman. Um, I told Tony all about Anne, although that is no longer a fact. Is there a chance for Heather? It's always a chance. Never a guarantee. But then what guarantees do any of us have about anything? Isn't that right? Oh. Hello, Edward. That's what I call perfect timing. Well, it looks to me like we're interrupting. No, not at all. We've just finished. It's so nice to see both of you. Hello, Audrey. <laughs> Jeff. I Alan? don't believe either of you has uh, met Dr. Tony Pirelli. He's from Forest Hills. Oh, the state mental facility. That's the one. I'm Alan Quarterman. How do you do? This hey, is you. my father, Edward. How do you Dr. do, sir? Pirelli? Uh, Tony, please. I understand you're on the staff at General. Yeah, I'm mostly fundraising these days. Uh huh. Steve here told us you were all coming by. Why don't we go to the bar and let these people talk, Jeff? Fine with me. Well, we shouldn't be long. Ah, no problem. Take your time. OK. Thank you. Sit down, Dad. Yes, sit down, please. <clears throat> I hope we didn't chase them off. Oh, not at all. I told them you were coming by, and this is a welcome break. I haven't even had a chance to tell Audrey the reason for your coming here. Oh, Alan. Well, briefly, um, Frank Smith has withdrawn his pledge from the teaching room. Oh, Steve. Oh, wait, Audrey, maybe that was a little bit too brief. I think we can still go ahead on schedule. Really? What are you proposing? Well, as you know, I was going to make a very large donation myself, in addition to having this fundraising party to augment the uh, pledge that Smith was going to make. Alan, I have faith in you, but this is $20 million we're talking uh, about. Let me step in here, Steve. Alan and I have gone over this, and we'd like the Quartermain Foundation to take over the major responsibility for the funding. Edward, we couldn't possibly ask you Steve, to do that. Steve, now this is something I insist on doing. The decision has been made. Will you stop fooling around with the Quartermains? We're very stubborn. <laughs> well, what can I say? I, I'm overwhelmed. Of course, we're going to need additional funding, and that's why this fundraising party is of absolutely prime importance that we're going to break ground on schedule. OK, what can we do to help? Just make sure that every staff member is there at the party. Well. As soon as you give the okay, I'll find a place for Heather, Jeff. Tony, I've already made my decision. Well, I'm glad to hear it. All right. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, women. They sure can complicate a guy's life. Yeah, that's what makes life worth living. Well, I know Ann Logan does. However, I do have to forget about her now. What's the deal with Leslie Weber? Is she dating that Lansing guy? Oh, Howard's kind of a friend of all of ours. Mm hmm yeah, uh, he handled Leslie's divorce from Rick. Oh, he's an attorney? Yeah. yeah and I've been consulting with him uh, about the ramifications of moving Heather. In fact, I should probably talk to him tonight about that. You want me to send him over? No, would you mind? All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, Mr. Lansing. Uh, uh, Jeff wants to know if he could see you for a minute. Right now? It's about the situation with his wife. Do you mind? No. Well, I'll keep you company. Up. All right. I'll be right back. Well, don't rush him like Alan. I'm sure. You don't mind, do you? Uh, no, Dr. Pirelli. Goodness. Tony, I'm Tony, to Tony. Tony. Uh, Tony. Tony, that's right, Tony. I haven't seen Jeff about his wife. I'm uh, from Forest Hills. You're a psychiatrist. Um, I've heard of you. All good things, I hope. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Well, you and your date must be having some conversation. You're really nursing that drink. Oh, well, I just don't like to drink too much. And don't start analyzing. No, 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 I'm off duty. You're a gorgeous woman. Thank you. No, I mean it. I mean it. You're a gorgeous, divorced woman. I've met your ex, you know. Bet you did. Are you free to see other men, or are you having an affair with Howard Lansing? You're a little blunt, aren't you? Yeah, I don't believe in wasting time. Once it's gone, it's gone. So are you free? I'm free. OK, then I'll take you to dinner tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, all right? Do I have anything to say about this? No. Uh, listen, then, would you mind bringing us another round of drinks here, please, pal? Thank you. Are you all right now? Yes, I'm OK. I am not going to let Alan get to me like this anymore, promise. That's my girl. 
I'm going upstairs to give my son one last kiss. You first. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to leave. All right, give him the kiss for me. Hello? Monica, dear, it's uh, Edward. Yes, Edward, what can I do for you? I'm over at the floating rib with Alan and uh, Steve Hardy, and we're going over plans for the uh, fundraising dinner for the new teaching wing. Edward. I know Alan told you about it. Uh, the Quartermain Foundation is taking over the funding. I have already told Alan that I won't be there. Nonsense. You owe it to me, Monica. You also owe it to Alan Jr. to be there. Edward. Well, I can see the talking this out on the phone isn't the answer. I'll be right over. No. I think he's beginning to look like me. I really do. What's wrong? Who's on the phone? Edward. At this late hour, what did he want? He is on his way over here to talk me into going to that fundraising party. Why would Alan drag him into this? Because he knows it just might work. Alan is trying to manipulate you, and I'm not going to let that happen. Did you speak to Monica? I did. And? Well, she wasn't too receptive. I told her I was on my way over to make certain she's at that party. How can I ever thank you? By getting your wife back. I have every confidence I will do exactly that. You know, I think the real loser in this whole mess is going to be Rick Weber. Oh, you don't think he'd get back with Leslie? Why would she want him back? She's finally her own woman again. 